Hello my loves, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new day, welcome back to the vlog. Just did a lipstick video, I just, it's a problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the aftermath, but I have a lipstick addiction. I went from not being in my lipstick era, decluttering all of my lipsticks, getting rid of anything that wasn't like a nude, to now I just, I bought two Charlotte Tilbury Reds, fun colors from NYX, no, I keep doing this. I keep calling e.l.f. NYX. These are from e.l.f. Now I need to find them all at home. I just, I have nowhere to put anything. I just got two large boxes, well, decently sized boxes from Amazon. So I thought we'd do an Amazon haul. Amazon always does this thing where it says, if you wait and don't rush your order, we'll give you a $3 coupon. And so I literally do that every time. And then the other day, Mike said to me, why do you pay for Amazon Prime if you don't prime? It'll say like, help the environment, use less waste. I'm like, sure, sign me up. Needless to say, I ordered this quite a while ago and I honestly don't even remember what is in here. Vital proteins every day. I put this in my first cup of coffee. It is good for your hair, skin, nails, and your joints. And we all know I have hip problems and heavily reliant on this. Do consult your doctor. I did not consult my doctor, but I just feel like I need to put that, this disclaimer. I used to take vitamins and I just, I don't know. I haven't in like a couple years now. And I think that maybe if I do, I will be less here and more maybe here, which I don't think this is gonna be the fix. I really think therapy be the big thing that helps me, but in my brain, I'm just like, what else can I, what can I do aside from the thing that I don't wanna do? Which don't ask me why I don't wanna do therapy. I don't know what it is. You know what it is? I do know what it is. And I actually went to dinner with my girlfriend last night, Alexa. She has been my friend since second grade. I have not seen her in like, I don't even know how many years, but she used to live in New York City. Her and I would meet for dinner once a week and I missed her and I didn't realize how much I missed her until I saw her, but she moved away. So I don't really see her as much anymore, but I cannot tell you, like, it's not nice because I don't, I don't wish this upon other people, but she lost her dad five years ago to cancer and I lost my dad a little bit over a year to go to cancer. And we just had like, a dead dad talk. It's nice to talk to somebody who knows what it's like to go through such a thing. We were telling each other stories, but there were parts where I felt like she didn't have to say things and I didn't have to say things. It was just like an unspoken understanding. Why am I talking about this? I really forgot how, how did I get on this topic? Oh my God, I was talking about vitamins. Maybe it will come back to me. But regardless, I had a wonderful time last night. It was really, really nice to connect with her just in general. I cannot believe her and I have known each other for that long. She is by far the longest friend I've ever had. These are the vitamins that I used to take, but I got them in a gummy because I'm a child. Hard vitamins hurt my stomach, which I think was why I stopped taking them. These are women's gummies, A, B vitamins to help convert food to fuel. I, I have no idea. I just did some research and that's what I came up with. Celsius, sponsor me. These are my favorite. Mike and I love the sparkling cola Celsius. Him and I go through them like water. Magnesium with ashwagandha. I do not remember what ashwagandha, ash, ashwagandha does for muscle, bone, heart, and relaxation support, which your girl, again, needs to go from here to here and relax. But I've heard magnesium is really good for a lot of things. So I got this, I don't know. Oh my. I just did a lip video and I totally forgot that I bought this. I do not have any more room for any more lip products. And I can't get rid of, can't, can't get rid of, I can't get rid of any of them because I just bought like all of them. Like, I'm not kidding you. My collection went from like 44 lipsticks. I'm just using that number, we all know why. To like 10 lipsticks and now I'm back to having like 44 lipsticks again. Oh, I don't even like this color. L'Oreal Glow Paradise in Cherry Wonderland. I don't know, that is a very bright color. We will play with this tomorrow, I promise. How fun is this? I needed to get 
a yoga band or like a stretch band for my physical therapy. We do a little bit of this. We do a little bit of this. Yeah, it's a great time. I am miserable and I'm tired of doing physical therapy and I just want to feel better. There are two things that I really want to do. I want to sleep on my left side because before this all happened, I was always a left side sleeper. Now it hurts too much. Like if I sleep on my left side for any period of time, I can't walk when I get up in the morning. That's not normal. I also want to wear my little three inch heels, but I can't. So I must continue on with the physical therapy, but I got pink to make me happy, even though I feel like I've been a blue girl lately. I think this is a bodysuit. Y'all know I've been going to yoga and going to physical therapy and I don't have clothes that cover me up. So I got this bodysuit, we'll try it on together. I think I like this, but I don't know. Like I think I like the idea of a bodysuit to like do yoga in, it's easy when you're getting ready. You just pick it up and it's kind of like, it's like a dress, but in workout form. You know, you don't need to pair things together. You just grab and go. I don't know though. Like, is this flattering? Granted, my underwear is like all bunched in here. What do we think? I feel like it's like decent support. I do not have a large chest. I'm a size B chest. Is this cute? Please let me know. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I, I, I need an opinion, please. This is that brand, OQQ, I don't know. It's like the same material. I don't think they're, are they the same brand though? What brand is this? I don't know, this is brandless. I don't know, like they're okay. Hold on, you are so crooked. I like this, but I feel like they're a little like cheap looking. I don't know. Let me bring you down so you can get a better view. What do we think? Let me know your thoughts, that's a better angle. You can see the whole thing. What do we think? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. But if you're interested, I'll link them down below. My mom inspired me to get this. This is the Claire All Root Touch Up. Light brown, but it's like dark. She bought this for her hairline, like when she needs to get her hairline, like when she needs to get her roots colored. I really like the packaging though. And it comes with this brush, which the brush is really nice. I borrowed hers at her house i tried it it comes with this brush i just washed my hair last night so i'm not going to use this but we will use this together in this video i promise we will use all the things we went to my grandma's a couple weekends ago and i said to my mom mom your brows look great they look so dark what's going on they're like bushy she's been using this to cover her grays and to fill in her brows and i was like wow donzy i am your daughter thanks mom you inspired this and i think that's it it was like 55, no, actually it was like 65 degrees yesterday. Now it's like frigid again and it's 4.30. I need to go to the post office. I totally forgot. I have so many things that I was supposed to do today and it totally slipped my mind. I honestly feel like I also might have become a red lip kind of gal because, oh, this color with this shirt. I feel like I rented this shirt from Run the Runway. I feel like I might need to buy it just to wear it with this lip. And for my cowboy vibes, how perfect would this be for Nashville? Anywho, I need to go drop something, two things off at the post office. I sold my wedding shoes. I felt whatever about it because I'm not gonna wear them. They're like sparkly heels, I'll never wear them again. And I feel good about giving them a second home. But now that I'm dropping them off, I feel some kind of way. Like I'm like, ooh, those are my wedding shoes. And in the thank you card, cause I always send a thank you card when people shop my closet. I said, these were my wedding shoes. So I hope you enjoy them. Is that weird? I feel like if I bought someone's wedding shoes, I would want to know they wear their wedding shoes. And I need to drop off this check. Me and my family all decided that we want to like have a place to go visit my dad because he's cremated and he is in my closet. But it would be nice to like go to a place to have dedicated time to say like, I'm going to visit my dad and spend time with my dad. So we are getting a bench, like a park bench where people can sit on the bench with a little like plaque on it that has lyrics to a song because my dad was a man of very few words. I've said this before, he was very into music. I grew up in a very musical household in the sense that we just listened to music all the time. So I thought that the perfect tribute would be song lyrics because my dad would like not want anything sappy. He didn't like sappy anything. He would call us all pansies, quite frankly. So I'm gonna drop off this check so that we can get the bench rolling and hopefully it will be installed before the height of the summer, which was my dad's favorite season. Getting rid of my wedding shoes, <sighs> buying my dad a bench. Bye. It is so 
annoying every time someone says it. Water is the best, the best thing for your beauty because I have not been drinking enough water. I have been lazy. My skin looks dry. She's textured. I just, I look terrible and I should have drank more water today, but I just don't pay attention. I forget to hydrate. I forget to eat. I'm like a sad plant. I didn't show you any of the lip products, but I have already uploaded a video featuring all the new lip products that I bought. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five of these e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks. I am psychotic. I am psychotic, but look at the shade range. I wanted all of the shades, and so all the shades I got, this is excessive. I have enough lipsticks to last me a lifetime, and I need to chill, and I need to go through my collection. So like, should we do that together? This is full, pretty much. Yep, that's full. I have nowhere to put any of that. This is full. I have one spot, but I don't know which one to put in there. I guess I'll put Bobby in there. But like, this is terrible. This is terrible. Where were any of you to tell me that this was not gonna work for me? I blame you, honestly. I also have this. Where is she going? I don't have enough places to go to wear all of these lips. I'm already looking and I've seen things I can get rid of. But anyway, I need to go and I need to clean the house and I think I'm just gonna like chill. I think I'm gonna make some pasta, hang out with Mike, maybe read my book. I'm kind of getting a little bit more into, still not into, I'm reading Hollywood Housewives. One of my subscribers told me that she is reading dark mafia romance novels. And I could get behind that. I asked her to give me a recommendation. And as soon as I get one, I will, I will definitely share because she said that and I was like, that sounds interesting. Mm. Pasta and wine, my personal favorite. <laughs> love vlogging more than I love any other content creation. I just tried to film a short or a TikTok or like, you know, just like shorter content because I've been told so many times that in order to grow my social media, whatever, I need to get more into TikTok and whatnot. But I just, I find that like when I'm trying to fit things into a shorter period of time, my personality kind of gets lost and I'm not being as authentic. Anybody else? If you create content, do you feel the same way? Like it's me, but I don't know. I say I don't know a lot, I, I blab a lot, and you can't really do that when you're trying to fit things into 60 seconds. So I just want you to know that I feel most comfortable with you. And because I feel most comfortable with you, I needed to come on here and share what I was sharing in my shorter video. And that is that literally the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, e.l.f. I don't know which came first. I think the e.l.f. O-Face ones came first because I think Charlotte like just came out. Did that just die? My light just died. The show must go on. Did Charlotte dupe e.l.f.? Either way, it doesn't matter. These are like $9 lipsticks and these are like $30 lipsticks. And I am wearing NYX on top and Charlotte on the bottom and you cannot tell the difference. So I'm gonna insert the video here so you can watch the shorter form video and see the exact dupes. But right now, yesterday I wore the darker red and this is Charlotte's brighter red Hollywood Vixen. So this is what I put on the bottom. Up top, I put Elf's No Regrets. Charlotte is a little bit of like a brighter red, but nonetheless, I think I like Elf's formula better. Charlotte is a little thicker and a little bit more powdery. Feels a little drier on the lips. Both matte formulas, so no one is saying that these are hydrating, but I just think that Elf feels so much better. It's ridiculous how many of these Go Face lipsticks I have. And I don't want to take this lip off, but I'm going to go to yoga at 5.30 and I, should, I can't show up to yoga with a red lip. I mean, never say never. I could, 
I just don't want to be that person. And I also promised you that we would try this L'Oreal lipstick. I got this recommended to me by Amazon. Amazon does such a good job of recommending things. It's like I can literally just sit there for hours and throw shit in my cart. But this is L'Oreal Glow Paradise Cherry Wonderland. I don't feel good about this lipstick. Like, look at this color. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm eating my words. Beautiful for spring, beautiful for summer. It feels really nice on the lips. Oh yeah, that is nice. Super comfortable, especially after having matte lipsticks on. Wow, that's a really pretty color. See, this is my problem. I just keep buying things and buying things. I will say that all the lipsticks that I've purchased recently have been slam dunks. Slam dunks. For that, I am grateful that I'm not wasting my money, but also, am I wasting my money? Because I don't need these many lip products, but this is, oh my God, simply stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. I'm thinking I need to create an Amazon storefront, share things that I buy with you guys more easily because I've been getting a lot of comments lately that you guys buy the things that I link down below. And I am honored, like I am so honored. I love that you trust me. And you guys say that everything that you buy, you love. And I feel like I should just curate it all in one spot so it's easier for you all to shop. And also though, mama's gotta make some money. If I had an Amazon storefront, Amazon would pay me some commission. So I think I really need to look into that. I need to, and I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. And I guess I'm just gonna say it until I turn blue in the damn face, but I need to think of this more as a business and a hobby. But I'm just like such a creative person every day when I wake up, I kind of just want to hit record and talk to you guys. I don't want to like sit down and figure out how to make money. That just, I love money, but that does not sound fun to me. What'd you say about my lipstick? I said the lipstick that you're wearing is like a 12 year old lipstick. Did you see the color? Women wear red. What is it? Tween pink or something? It is kind of a tween pink. I liked it What's until like you it? came in here and said Yako Gako for no reason. <laughs> I did say yucko gucko. What if I say that to you? I don't wear lipstick. Maybe you should. No thanks. Well, me and my 12 year old lipstick are off to yoga. Let's go. morning. If you couldn't tell, it's a very gloomy Saturday. I just um, made a cup of coffee. I journaled for 10 minutes. <sighs> My anxiety is so bad. I have never, and I feel like I sound like a broken record and I literally wrote that in my journal this morning, but I feel like a broken record. I just, every day when I sit down to journal or I'm not journaling every day, I probably do it like three or four times a week. Every time I write down anything, in my journal. It's like, I'm tired of feeling like I'm on a high speed roller coaster that's going nowhere. And I wish time would just like slow down and that this heaviness would get off of my chest. Like it's Saturday morning, I should not be stressed, but I'm like stressed about work. I'm stressed that I don't have answers for like things that are coming up because at the end of the day, the fault is gonna be on me. And I don't even really care about the fault. I kind of just care about, I wanna get it done so that I don't feel like this, which is how I've always been with my anxiety. Like it's very confusing and conflicting because deep down inside I am a procrastinator, but also I have anxiety and my anxiety drives me to make decisions simply so that I don't feel like this. Does anyone else relate? I don't know. I'm just trying to like woo saw and I'm also about to get my period. 
and I'm sitting here thinking like it is 7.25. Do I go to yoga at eight? A part of me is like, just sit here and enjoy your coffee and calm down because you are a mess. But then another part of me says, go upstairs, get dressed because you could really use some yoga in your life. I went to a yoga last night. I like showed up and class started early. So I walked in and I don't know, I just like couldn't get into the flow of it. It wasn't as relaxing as it normally is. Should I go today and go to yoga? I don't know, TBD, but I need to figure that out because I need to leave in the next 15 minutes and clearly I'm not dressed. I need to brush my teeth and whoa, I look crazy. I feel very uncomfortable, which is what I feel most days. I just feel uncomfortable in my anxiety. <laughs> It's really fun. At 12.30, I booked a hydrofacial because I've been going every three months and you know me, if you've been keeping up, I go every three months and I'm trying to find the best one in my area. So I'm trying out a new one today and hopefully it's good. And obviously if, it, if it's good, I'll report back to you. But a part of me is like, don't go to yoga, stay home because I have to drive and go to my facial later. But I don't know guys, I'm just struggling. And I really think like my problems would be less to replay if the sun would come out. I need sunshine, I need warmth. I just, this weather needs to go away because it's making my anxiety worse and making like this just not any better. Can you hear it pouring outside? It is absolutely pouring. Most miserable day. And despite how early I get up, I just can never seem to give myself enough time. I'm starving and I didn't eat anything. This is my outfit. It's like pretty warm out. I just figured a little t-shirt with a cardigan, Hudson jeans, some Converse, and my Fendi bag. Oh, last night when Mike and I went to, we went to a pizzeria for dinner last night. We go there pretty often. The woman that was making the pizza boxes was like, can I please see your bag? Can you hold it up? So I literally was like, sure. And went like this and she goes, oh my God. I wasn't sure what the color was, but I absolutely love it. I really love handbags and that's something that I view as an investment. Like I do spend money on them, but I can also sell them for a profit. So, but like when people ask me to see my bags, I get a little, like I feel a certain type of way. I get a little bit embarrassed. Some of the money I spend on handbags is ridiculous, but Anywho, it's a passion and I should embrace it. So I was a little embarrassed when she asked me to see the bag, but then she was like, oh, I love your bag. And then this other woman that worked there was like, oh my God, that bag, chef's kiss. And I love it when people compliment my handbags. I have no idea where to put you because this tripod doesn't fit on my dashboard. Do you hear the rain? Because it's terrible, but I just wanted to pop on here because I'm about to go to my facial, but I should be sponsored. Nugo, I take you everywhere. Celsius Coke. This is like the 45,000th time I've talked about you, but sponsor me because I need you to fuel my life. Waze is um, telling me that the traffic is building up and apparently I need to stop using Waze because it shows my age according to my younger friends, but Google Maps is trash and I said what I said. This is the face before. I guess I should show you the before, before I drive because I have a feeling I'm gonna hit traffic and then I'm gonna be rushing. So this is the skin before. And then obviously I'll show you after. I figured before we declutter, I should show you what my skin looks like. Um, I would say this hydrofacial was better than the last one that I went to. Not as amazing as the one in Vegas, but my skin looks really good, really glowy. My aesthetician, I really liked her. I enjoyed her. She told me that this rash around my mouth, which you could see it now, see? I always thought it was hormonal and I actually talked to my gynecologist about it the last time that I saw her. And I don't know why I thought to ask her because in all reality, she is not a dermatologist, but she told me that it was hormonal and that there was no way to get rid of it. I just assumed like, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. I assumed that there was no way to get rid of it. But then when I went today, the girl who did my hydrofacial was like, no, actually you can go to a dermatologist and they'll probably have to give you an antibiotic because this will not go away on its own. So. I'm gonna book a derm appointment because I should really do that anyway. I had a really nice experience. She gave me like a neck massage and a back massage and a hand massage. And since this is like really red, and also I believed my gyno when she told me that it wasn't fixable because I do find that this flares up 
during my time of the month and I did not plan this facial well at all. So I'm literally getting my period, not tomorrow, but the day after. So when she started the facial, this was like tingling and I could feel that it was getting really red. So she was so nice and was like, listen, I'm not gonna treat your mouth area, but I want you to get the full experience. Like I don't wanna jip you and you're paying for the facial. So she did my neck, I have to say, I've never had my neck done in the hydrofacial. It looks like a lot glowier and like plumper to me. Someone that looks at her neck quite often. And at one point, can I just chew my own horn for a second? She asked me to raise my eyebrows and I did. And then I asked her why. And she said, oh, because I really wanna target the anti-aging formula that they put in the hydrofacial. She's like, I wanna target your fine lines, but I can't see them. I guess I didn't need Botox after all. Also though, if you watched my last vlog or two vlogs ago, you will have seen the flowers that Mike got me. Well, they're dead now, but I don't know what's happening. These are still thriving and there is no water in my vase. I think I got this on Amazon. I will link it down below, but look how cute the flowers are in the little head of it. How stinking cute is that? They're bound to die because they're flowers, but they're like really going strong. But how stinking cute is this? I really need to take a picture because it's stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. How creative is this? I'm such a creative person. Oh, also, I forgot to say this though. How nice of my facialist, but she gave me this SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Gel. And she told me to put this over the irritation and it'll help soothe it. So I am very excited. This is unacceptable. Look at how many lipsticks I have. Look how deceiving this is. There's five right here, but it looks like a little cube of nothingness. I need to get rid of some lipsticks. I did kind of clean the rest of my room. Um, eh, mm, eh, she's not great. This is from my bridal shower. How cute is that? I need to put this somewhere cute. I did a decent job. Not a great job. It could have been better, but honestly, you guys know I bought so many lipsticks recently that I can't, I can't get rid of them. I just bought them. This is the smaller lipstick holder that I keep in my Ikea dresser. Nudes here for the most part. And then these are all like peachier tones. These are all pinkier tones. And then these are more fun tones, which is what I'm trying to get into like the Bobbi Brown one that I just bought. This one from NARS is like a deeper, kind of like wine color. So nudes, peaches, pinks, fun, pop of color. I just put all of my travel size lipsticks here because they were in here, but they're messing with the flow. Like the smaller ones don't sit nicely with the bigger ones. So I just put travel size lipsticks in here. I figured like on nights when I'm gonna take smaller bags, I could just pick my lipstick from this little bucket and I will put it up here. I also started to make a pile of things up here that don't need to be at the vanity. I have all of my oils, my drugstore oils. So I have my fat lip oils, you guys know. Oh, so good. I have my Merit lip oil and my more recent purchase, the e.l.f. lip oils. So drugstore lip oils, I have lipsticks, I have my MAC ones. I have these little like NARS crayons. So these are true lipsticks. And then these are glosses. And then these are not glosses, but they don't fit with the rest of them. So glosses, oils, lipsticks. These are all newer lipsticks too. So these are all my Charlotte Tilbury. These are my two YSLs, which honestly, I don't love this formula. I would throw it out, but they were expensive. So I'm not. Another Charlotte Tilbury. I have one, two, three, four, five. All of my e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks because I am literally addicted to them and I have five. It's not over. Back here, I put my Maybelline lip oils. I have three and my Tarte Maracuja. And then this one, I wanna see, I'm gonna give her a shot. I really did like this, but I just don't gravitate towards it. So if she's still around the next time I say I need to do a declutter, I'm gonna get rid of her. This is one that I recently tried in a new makeup video and it's a fun color. So I'm definitely gonna keep her. Uh, Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. I have my Maybelline. It's kind of just like a chapstick here, which, Maybe I'll just throw her in my backpack to take her to work with me. That's where she could live. I have my Estee Lauder. I have my Dior 001. Clearly need to clean that off before that gets all over me. And then I guess I'll show you what I'm gonna get rid of. <laughs> 
smells bad, but I've had this for a long time. This is the Dew Tube. This is old by Trust Fund Beauty. This is old, this smells bad. I wore this a lot, but you would never know. This is old too. I'm getting rid of Russian Red just because I feel like I have so many reds right now and I'm not excited about this one anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of MAC Russian Red. This I love. I love how it makes my lips look. I love the color of it. Oh my God, it's so freaking nice but holy shit, it's like I rubbed cayenne pepper all over my lips and I can't do that to myself. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Ugh. Nars Anita, I've had this since, I think I bought this when I first moved into my apartment. So she needs to go because I've been living with my husband for like five years now. Wet n Wild Bee Pouty. It's just, it's like children makeup and it burns my lips. This is old. I really did like this, the glow recipe, but I don't know. I just, it had a moment and now the moment's gone. I know so many people that love this, but I don't like this. This is MAC Lady Be Good. It's a beautiful color, but I just, the formula dries my lips out. So that is where I landed. Ta-da. Still too many lipsticks. Still a lot of clutter, but I really don't know what else to do. Let's have some fun with my hair that needs to be washed. If you missed this, I did mention this in a previous vlog. This is so good. It slicks your hair back. My hair is pretty slicked back because, oh, and flaky. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, apologies. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I like this kind of like middle partedness. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not really like the biggest hair expert, but one could say I'm a lot more of an expert than I've ever been because I'm trying more than I've ever tried. I'm excited to try the hairline filler. I hope you could see that that really just like slicked it back. When I wear my hair up, I use these black hair ties from Kitsch, not the bajillion dollar satin ones. That's cute. Is it though? Not really. I just, I don't like my hair up, but we will wash it tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's nice. At least it looks nice from here. Let's do one side. This side I didn't put anything. Can you see? And then this side, I filled it in. I just feel like it might be because I'm not good at it, but I don't think it's the product's fault. I think it's like a me problem. A little bit of face powder. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. A little bit of face powder to just like blend it. Does that look more natural? I'm not mad at this. This side? as opposed to this side. Wow, Donzi. I think we have a winner. Do you have any suggestions? Do you fill your hairline in? I really wanna know. Like I typically don't, but I typically don't wear my hair back. So if you are someone that typically does this and you have tips for the rest of us who have no idea what we're doing, what are some hacks? I'll let you know if, any, if Mike says my hairline looks crazy, but I feel like that's pretty nice. I will link this down below, this little guy. How impressive. Cheers, Daddy. Cheers. I look like a greasy skunk. I am like very PMSing today. So excuse me if I'm a little foul, but I'll try to be nice. I just wanted to show you my skin after my facial yesterday. Yeah, this facial was definitely better than the last one that I got. I don't know if you could see, but like my lines, everything's just like softer. Can you see? I hope that you could see. This is great lighting. You could see my greasy hair that we slicked back. But yeah, this is my face. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I've had too much coffee. This is my face and I have to say, I'm very happy with it. And I do this once every three months. Hydrofacial, like the actual company, I think they recommend you doing it on a monthly basis. But one, I think that that's too much for my sensitive skin. And two, <laughs> that's a lot of money. The sun is out and I should be happy, but like, I. I feel crazy because I'm PMSing. I have a lot of anxiety. And then I have anxiety that the sun is out and I need to be doing things outside. But I also haven't worked out. It's 10 o'clock. I also need to wash my hair. Mike and I are also going to get pancakes. And it's just like, I, I, I have too many things to do. I'm too stressed and I wait 
till last minute. But also though, at the same time, I got so much done this morning that like I can't even be mad at myself. Try this, Skin SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Gel. I'm like a little red, but honestly, look at my head. My head is a lot more red than my stash, but I do wanna try this. If there's one thing I love, I love freebies. So, oh yeah, that's like minty. I love free products, and this was the first time that I went to a facial and someone gave me free products. So I might be biased as to why I like this place. I gotta say, I feel like she did a really good job. The fact that she gave me two of these for when my skin flares up like this was very nice of her. But can you see? I just like have a red stash all the time. It's not that bad right now, honestly, like I said. My forehead is worse. Initially, that gel is sticky and cooling. I don't love the sticky, but the cooling is doing something. So nice of her. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. I was envisioning a different jacket. I'll show you the jacket. I'm wearing this Gap jean jacket that I forgot I had that was at my mom's house and oh, she recently gave it to me. I was like, do you want it? And I said, yeah, um, fresh faced. I didn't put anything on my face. I'm really not supposed to wear makeup for 24 hours. My facialist told me that I could put a little bit, but I'm just not gonna bother to do any. I might put a hat on obviously to protect my face from the sun because it is so sunny outside. Hudson jeans because we all know I live in them. My Louis Vuitton belt, my baby. I need to name her. And I think I'm just gonna wear Converse shoes. I don't have them on because or by the door, but this is the fit. I feel like it's a lax, it's winter, but we're ready for spring, like transitional jean vibe. I don't, what do we think about the different color jeans? A part of me loves to be matchy matchy, but I feel like the fact that they're two different shades of jean makes it more lax. This top is from Nordstrom, just like Nordstrom brand, if you're wondering. But like, look how cute this, this jacket is. It says VB all over it because it's Victoria Beckham and I have a lady crush on Victoria Beckham. I have a lot of lady crushes, but like, I just feel like this doesn't look, it's just like too big on me. Like I'm drowning and I tried to do the whole thing, cuff it, but it's like hard to button it. I just, I feel like the other one's more flattering on me, but I like the same color jean. I think I just answered my own question. Just like this pattern is so cute. I just feel like it looks frumpy on me. What do we think? I think it's a little frumpy. I'm trying to find my cat because I'm about to leave and I'm trying to make sure that he's not trapped in a bedroom somewhere. I wanted to mention that I literally only have two pairs of sunglasses, these sunglasses and my blue Dolce & Gabbana ones. I sold like all my designer glasses on Poshmark because I'm entering a new era, I think. But where's my cat? Brogan! Oh my God. Look at my sweet babe. I yelled broken and I saw your little head pop out from the bed. Oh, I love you, my sir. We're gonna have cuddles later while I read my book. I'll have my little cat blanket on me. Oh, I love you, oh, I love you. I wish I had time to do my hair, but my skin. I'm not so mad that I'm not wearing makeup because I feel like my skin looks impeccable like what lines oh guys i cannot recommend the hydrofacial enough to you i just can't cheers <laughs> now for the saddest part of the weekend sunday night where all of my handbags that i used for the weekend get emptied and then they get put away back in the closet in their dust bag where they will sit all week while my main bitch, again, sadly, my main bitch here gets packed for the entire week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my hydrofacial experiences, again, I've had three, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you so much. I hope you had a great weekend and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.